Okay, it's Luxury Fred and I am on this incredible Viking River cruise heading down the Rhine River. We're here in Holland and I am going to do something very cool. I am going to go up into the wheelhouse and I'm going to show you what it's like to drive, if that's the right word, steer this incredible river cruise ship. So let's go and let's go meet the captain. Permission to come aboard? Permission to come the bridge. Thank you, Captain. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, now, are you are you on some kind of autopilot right now? I don't have nothing. I can see with this one. My, I was young. I played Sega Mega Drive, PlayStation. Now I know to sail a ship. <laughs> and is there like a cruise control that sets the speed? No, no. Everything is my finger and eyes. So each second, I'm sailing. If you look at the prop, the props in front, look what they're doing in this moment. They turn. See. What of oh, that? Is that yes. what I'm looking at? That yes. Thing up yes. Yeah, the our propellers, and they are moving all the time. So each second count here. If I am go to sleep. I'll make a hotel on the shore, so it's not nice. <laughs> and so what, what are these, what are the This is the wind speed, there? the other one is depth water, and this is the rudder angle, say like that. And the middle is the radar, what is yellow always means the right. obstacle, and there's uh, maps. Okay. This map is at one power meter, this one is on the five uh, kilometer. You see how it's coming, all the ships, or which how I can pass or not, I'm waiting or overtake. And so on the radar, what is, is the lines the river? No, these lines, what I this, this, I, I put the lines to learn the other people until the line yeah. is not possible to touch anything because line, I have another kind of method. So it's very complicated to, to, to I care about the ship. If the line, the small lines in the middle, yes. is touching some yellow, that means you are crashing. But then what are the yellow in the lines there? The two, you see? Yeah. So th this is the path yes. of the ship? No, the, what see yellow, there are two ships in front of us. Yeah. There yes. and there? Yes, okay. there are two ships front. And our, where is the point of the circle? It's our head of the ship. Here. Yes, it's the head of the ship. What, that's this the is shore? The, it's the shore, the jet is. Oh, sticking out there, yes. there, there, there. I see. So we must take care. And this is the the angle of the propellers because they move like yes, this, what, like in pods? Like a pod, like azipods, but they are not azipods. They are uh, coming out from the engine, from, uh, from the ship, it's in the, in the hole. And is this the front of the ship? Oh, that's the propeller the itself. Propeller, yes, I propeller see. itself. And then what's this number? This is speed of so the turning per minute on the propellers. I see. And this is? This is the uh, bow thrusters, jetties, jet uh, bombs. And this moment they are not working, they are stopped. And that would to make us go sideways? Yes, this is the way. And what... This what is my jersey, my rudder. The physical rudder yes, that moves back and forth. Yes. And then these are the thrusters? Thrusters. That's these things here. How yes. long, how much training, how long? Plenty, plenty years, plenty years. I cannot say like that. Not everybody who is settled will be a rich position of captain. So you can have a license of captain, but you must also know what to do with the license. Yeah? Did you grow up in this area on the Rhine? Mm, no, I grew up on the Danube, so uh, uh, the Rhine is the last 10 years I'm doing here. I see. It was like a... Is there, a, I've cruised on the Danube as a captain, is there a difference? Is there a big yes, difference? Yes, you need, you need license for Danube, you need license for Rhine. So when you have these two licenses, you can sell almost everywhere. That few of special licenses. 
on the when you is one harder than the other to navigate? I say both are the same. It is probably there is a lot of a lot of wider. And, and when, when you're passing another ship, is it like a car where you always go to the right? No, this is look at here now it's a different roads. Mm, both navigation not everywhere they are the same. So the right have a special scene on this position. Okay. We can meet the ships also the port side and also the starboard. The upstream ship, the upstream, upstream ship make the decision which side. Oh, I see. Right, yeah. The one that's going upstream. Yes, because he can. Uh, it's harder for him to maneuver. Yes. Is there a speed limit? No. Huh? We can uh, sweep full speed, but we, we must be on time there, that's uh, the idea. And uh, if you are too quickly, it's possible to find another ship there and stay the way to the other back of the I see, like an airplane. Yes, yes. Would, would yes. There would be someone we, the we have some. Uh, we have yes. some uh, discarded the rules. If you are too quickly, then it's not good. So we have the... Um, Calculation upstream 10 km an hour, downstream 20 km an hour. But uh, you see here some people there with the ships cannot overtake everything, like uh, let's say, no matter how. Yeah, you see, increase a little bit the speed. And does it automatically do it on both sides? No, when you only do engine that? by engine, one by one, hand by hand, each one. What's this one up there? Is that this is the jet is uh, for the jet pumps. For the moment, uh, we are good. Do you normally sail for a certain number of hours? Uh, today I was uh, sail until 4 o'clock, 10 and uh, 7 o'clock come the other guys, the other two guys and sail. Uh, it's, today it's uh, sail like that and my duty. Is there a lot of... Um, Control? Do you have to check in and say I'm going here to here? Now I speak with you, but I'm on the, uh, here I'm looking what they say in the radio. So I'm uh, there and they have the, these two guys. They know I'm coming and it led them to coming in the middle because there's more water than here. I see. So they are slower than us. So I cannot say, uh, hey, uh, stop for me. So I try to let them try to work in his uh, position. It's a little bit complicated. You must understand a little bit uh, how it's work navigation. So if you was never on this ship, on this river, you don't know what the people are doing. So we try to avoid any kind of uh, conflicts on the water, uh, or any kind of uh, situation, bad situations. But like in uh, like the street, but this is like a highway. Right. On the highway, it's, uh, only in this one is possible to come also the small ships or the right. big ships. On the highway is going only the good cruisers, uh, cars. Yeah. Right. Here is coming everybody. It's not uh, another water there, so it's only here. Do uh, is English the language that's spoken? Uh, German is the German. language. Officially, it's uh, English and Dutch, but we speak uh, German and uh, English. I see. But if you speak English with a guy, he'll answer you in Dutch. I so uh, it's um, it's a rough talk sometimes. Yeah. We try to be always uh, at the schedule and, uh, and the good in position to not to don't make problem for the other people around us, right. but also to not have any kind of people because between me and this guy, he have sense and I have people on board. Right. It's a huge difference. And I have 220 people. And I cannot play with them. Their lives. Right. It's a huge responsibility. This was just one part of an amazing river cruise I did down the Rhine River called Rhine 
gateway with Viking cruises. We started the adventure in Basel, Switzerland, and sailed through Switzerland and France and Germany and the Netherlands, and the cruise ended in Amsterdam. It was my first time sailing with Viking. You can see some videos of uh, the ship, as well as my cabin, as well as the food. Uh, also on my YouTube channel, you can see the links there. And uh, overall, the experience was amazing. Uh, from start to finish, we really had a wonderful time. Uh, we had a great cabin, as you can see from the other tour here on YouTube, with a little balcony, and it was great to sit outside and watch the world go by. Uh, the food was amazing, um, and so were the excursions and the tours. Uh, I really, really enjoyed the experience, and I really highly recommend doing a river cruise. Um, it's great because you're, basically your hotel floats along with you. So you only have to unpack once, and then you explore a city, and you get back on the ship. The ship sails to the next port overnight, and then you get up in the morning, and you're in a different city. And you can go explore the city. You can spend the day on the ship. Um, they have all these great excursions, and the cruises uh, are all-inclusive, uh, other than alcohol, and uh, three meals a day are included which were all amazing. And the alcohol is included during the meals. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's easy. Just click subscribe. Check out more about my cruise at LuxuryFred.com and follow me on social media at LuxuryFred and on Instagram, eat with Fred and drive with Fred. Thanks for watching.